Hi, I'm Dr. Chad Larson, and, and this is episode two of Keep It Real. The main focus of the show is to discuss real food, real medicine, and real change. And one of the questions I get asked all the time is about nutritional supplements. And people come into my office with bags and bags of supplements that they've been recommended by you know, a nutritionist or somebody that works at the local health food store or their friend has a similar issue and so they said, hey, take these supplements, they seem to work for me. And so people come in very confused and they have no idea if they need to keep taking all these supplements. They don't know if they're good for them or bad for them. They don't even know what's in them. Um, and so it just is a source of a lot of stress and confusion. And there's a lot of misinformation out there about uh, nutritional supplementation. And I've been prescribing nutritional supplements for almost 18 years for actually uh, over 18 years now. And I, so I've been on the prescribing side uh, as a health consumer. I've also taken lots of different types of nutritional supplements over the years. And I've also been on the manufacturing side. So I have a pretty unique education and experience and understanding of knowing what is good, what's bad, and what is just ugly about nutritional supplements. And, and that's really uh, the, the nutrition supplement industry, it's, um, it's kind of all over the place. And so it's very confusing for healthcare consumers. You can go to a health food store and look at all the shelves and justify why you should take everything on the shelf because you go, oh, this looks good for me, oh, this looks good for me. But the idea is, is if you were to take all those supplements, you'd be sick. Um, the body has to process, even if it's healthy, you, your body has to process all those nutrients and it could, it could make you sick. So the real goal that I want to um, express to you is targeted nutritional supplementation. Nobody should be taking bottles and bottles and bottles of supplements. Um, so I'm gonna really help to talk to you about how to really identify high quality nutrients. Um, today and every now and again, I'll visit uh, my friends at Pure Prescriptions here in Southern California. Um, you know we're in Southern California because you can see a surfboard right over here in the conference room. And um, um, we, there's thousands of nutritional supplements here at Pure Prescriptions and so it's a good place for me to come and educate you on, um, I can pull different products off the shelf and I can help explain um, how you can learn how to identify good quality nutrients from poor quality nutrients. So today, I thought I would pick apart a multivitamin for you. A lot of people are interested in taking multivitamins. A lot of people take multivitamins. Um, some people are taking, taking ones that I would definitely not recommend. And other people are taking very, very high quality multivitamin mineral uh, products that are definitely providing some good health benefits. So one of the things that I'm really eager and I think in some ways obligated to share with you is, um, is educating you on different things that I have access to as a healthcare provider that as a healthcare consumer you might not have access to. So I have a little uh, little prop that I made. I just wrote down a few things here. So, so um, the word doctor comes from the Latin word which is um, pronounced docere. And docere means to teach. So it's really a key aspect uh, of being a healthcare provider is we're supposed to be really teaching our patients how to maintain a healthy life. But the Western model of healthcare, let's say the conventional wisdom of healthcare is pretty much disease care. You visit your doctor when you have a problem or a pathology and then you get prescribed a medication and that's supposed to, to fix your problem. But there's not a lot of emphasis on prevention. There's not a lot of emphasis on natural ways of, of uh, treating your system. And that's really the goal of, of the Keep It Real show. We call it Keep It Real because we're gonna keep it real. In other words, I'm gonna tell you like it is. I'm not gonna pull any punches. And, and sometimes it's gonna be raw truth that's gonna be difficult to hear. It's also Keep It Real because I'm talking about natural supplements. I'm talking about natural medicine. Um, we're gonna do lots of different things in regard to maintaining um, health from natural means. We're gonna talk about natural alternatives to uh, prescription medications. And so let's talk a little bit about, um, 
about multivitamins. I have a few multivitamins that I'll, I'll, I'll point out here. Um, there's a few things that you can really find out very quickly by looking at your vitamins if the manufacturer really cares about you or they don't care about you. There's a few nutrients that are very, very bottom shelf kind of nutrients that they're so cheap that uh, it's really increasing the profit margin for the manufacturer. And I'll point out how to identify those ingredients and help you to avoid purchasing a product that is not good for you. And then I'll point out what you really want to look for in a high quality nutritional supplement, especially with regard to a multivitamin. That's what we're going to talk about today. So let's go back to my little board here. And so hopefully we can see this okay. Um, vitamin B12 is a good nutrient to evaluate the, the quality of the supplement that you have. And so B12, the technical name for B12 is called cobalamin. And then the word that's in front of the word cobalamin tells you if it's high quality or low quality. So you can see, I don't think very highly of cyanocobalamin. Cyanocobalamin is what I'd call a bottom shelf nutrient, a bottom shelf uh, version of vitamin B12. It's very cheap, it's very poorly absorbed, poorly utilized by the body. So I would suggest avoiding any multi that has cyanocobalamin as their source of B12. Um, on the flip side, if your multivitamin has methyl cobalamin, that's top shelf. That's the highest quality of vitamin B12 that is available on the marketplace. On, on the marketplace, and I know from being on the manufacturing side that it's a lot more expensive. Um, methyl cobalamin is way more expensive per milligram or per uh, microgram compared to cyanocobalamin. But quality matters. Just because it's cheaper, um, you know, doesn't mean that you're getting the same thing for a cheaper price. It's, it's, it means that you're getting a very low quality uh, nutrient that I'd suggest not taking. Um, so that's one thing that you can look at. And sometimes in nutri the nutritional facts, sometimes in the nutritional facts, you'll see that it'll just say B12 and it'll say, you know, a thousand micrograms or what other dosage is in there. And you won't see the, the cyanocobalamin or the methylcobalamin. You got to go all the way down to the list of all the ingredients and you'll find it in there. Another key nutrient to, um, to look at is vitamin E. Vitamin E, uh, the technical name for vitamin E is called tocopherol. And uh, you want to look for this on your multivitamin as well. And if you find that yours says DL to be a lowercase d and a lowercase l and says tocopherol, again, that's very bottom shelf. It's completely synthesized. This form does not exist in nature and it is really poorly utilized, if not completely non utilized by the human body. And what you want to focus on is um, D alpha tocopherol, so without that little l. The L stands for levo, and it's a certain shape to the molecular structure of the vitamin E, and it's synthetic, and the body doesn't really uh, use it as efficiently as the D-alpha tocopherol. Another one to look at is mixed tocopherol. So not only does it have alpha tocopherol, but it's got gamma and beta. It's got the whole broad spectrum of tocopherols, which is really what is uh, healthy for us. Um, some other things that you want to look at is the source of the minerals. And so like, for example, on a product like this, this is from a company called Pure Encapsulations, and this is called Polyphenol Nutrients. If you look at the source of the minerals in here, it'll have like zinc picolinate or copper glycinate. So the word that follows the mineral is really, really key. The ones that you want to stay away from, if it says zinc oxide or magnesium oxide. Oxide, again, is very bottom shelf. The manufacturer just does not care about your health and they're just trying to make an extra profit by putting very cheap ingredients that they think you're not going to know about. But now you're going to know about them. And so you want to make sure it's things like glycinate, picolinate, citrate, pretty much anything other than oxide. And I'd say the next worst would be gluconate. So oxide or gluconate that follows the minerals, so like calcium oxide or magnesium oxide, is, is no good. 
Another one is looking at your uh, source of calcium, which is one of these minerals, um, carbonate. Calcium carbonate is pretty much chalk, and it's very difficult for the body to break that down and absorb that as calcium. So you want to have like calcium citrate, um, or you know something other than carbonate, oxide, or gluconate. So it's really important that you look at the uh, list of ingredients in your product. Sometimes it's in such small writing, you might have to use you know, a magnifying glass or something to really look at the source of the, the vitamins. So this is another one. This is called Daily Multi from Iogen. And again, looking on the source of ingredients, it's got methylcobalamin, it's got zinc citrate, and it's, it's very high quality. Uh, this is another one from a company called Designs for Health. And this is one of their uh, multivitamins. And it's the same thing, very high quality, methylcobalamin. However, if you look at a bottle of Centrum, which you see commercials about Centrum, you can find it in your drugstore, uh, you'll see a bottle of Centrum. L I encourage you to look at the source of vitamin B12, vitamin E, and calcium. And if you see things like cyanocobalamin, and you see things like DL tocopherol, or you see calcium carbonate, don't get it. It's just not worth it. Sure, it's gonna be a nice cheap product and you just take one a day, but it's in such a hard, unabsorbable tablet that in my opinion, it's actually doing more harm for you than good. And um, I happen to look up some other ingredients that they have in there. When you buy a multivitamin in a tablet and it's like a one a day tablet, it's, um, there's so many binders and fillers that are necessary to make it into that hard tablet that it's very difficult for your body to break down. So if you look at the other ingredients down you know, on, on the list on the label, you're gonna see things like uh, cornstarch and titanium dioxide and FD&C yellow number six aluminum lake. I mean, what the heck is that? There's no way that that is health promoting. That's just to make it look pretty before you stick it in your mouth. Who cares what it looks like? You, you don't wanna stick a bunch of extra ingredients and poor quality ingredients just because it looks pretty. Another thing that I found in, uh, in Centrum, and there's some other companies as well, I'm not just picking on Centrum, but I want you to, to look at these and really make sure you're making a, a quality choice. One of them had hydrogenated palm oil hydrogenated palm oil. There's a few non-negotiable ingredients that I share with my patients. There's a few things that, there's a lot of things that, you know, you can have every once in a while and it's okay. Hydrogenated oil, it's one of the non-negotiables. You should never have it. There's nothing health promoting about it. It's toxic for your body and it's in a vitamin, which is supposed to be health promoting. And so again, I encourage you to look at your multivitamin or if you choose to go get a multivitamin, when you're looking at them, researching them, look for this ingredient. If it says hydrogenated, any kind of oil, the one that I looked at said palm oil, it's complete junk. You should never have it. It's completely toxic for your system and uh, it's a trans fat. The body doesn't recognize it as anything healthy and it's just gonna cause problems in your system. And this is something that you know, if you follow what the label says, you're supposed to be taking every day. So putting this junk into your body every single day would do more harm than good. And so you wanna stick with a, a multivitamin that has very high quality, high quality nutrients from a lab that actually cares about your health and wants you to be healthy and wants to provide the highest quality of ingredients. So, so that's uh, mostly what I wanna to, uh, share with you today. And, um, I'll keep visiting uh, my friends over at Pure Prescriptions every now and again, and I'll talk about different nutritional supplements. And um, feel free to uh, send me any uh, comments. If there's anything that you really want me to investigate or uh, educate you about, I'm happy to do that. So again, this is Keep It Real TV, and we'll see you next time.